Jasmine Crockett's comments blaming Donald Trump for the chaos in Springfield have been seen by many as misguided and baseless. Critics argue that pointing fingers at Trump overlooks the responsibilities of the current administration, led by Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, as they are now in power and tasked with managing the country's present challenges. And I really want to start with Donald Trump's refusal to condemn the bomb threats. Um, what was your reaction to that? You know, my heart breaks that this election is close because this comes down to just some basic norms and principles of what we should see in leadership for the greatest country in the world. And it doesn't look like this. Yes, Springfield is going through hell, but they're going through hell because the guy that says that he wants to be the commander in chief is actually bringing that hell to their footsteps. He decided to amplify a lie on a national debate stage, and that is harming American citizens. That is a problem. When I talk about MAGA, I talk about the fact that when we swore in finally in January, January that we swore to defend against those that are coming against us, whether they are domestic or international. And right now, I feel like MAGA in general, they are threats to us domestically. And we see it time and time again. And I think that's why you see so many national leaders, whether they're Republicans or Democrats, coming together to say there is only one person qualified to be the commander in chief, and that is Kamala Harris. No the public's reaction is one of frustration and distrust toward Crockett's claims. Many question her credibility, feeling that current leaders should be focused on addressing today's issues rather than deflecting blame onto a former president. This perspective suggests that blaming Trump ignores the direct impact of recent policy decisions on communities like Springfield. The strong emotional response reflects a deeper dissatisfaction with political discourse, which seems increasingly disconnected from the realities people face. The heated language and criticism stem from a sense of being unheard and a call for leaders to take real, tangible action. This reaction reveals a growing belief that today's leadership is falling short on authenticity and responsibility.